Konosuba isn't nearly the funniest anime I've seen. It didn't make me laugh that much, and I'm not really a big enough fan of the fantasy RPG setting to care about a lot of the parody aspects of it. But why is that? Well, the reason for this is that I'm just a cynical cunt who's lost the ability to find any kind of humor in this world. Yet despite all this, it managed to remain as one of my most consistently entertaining comedy to come out of anime. So what makes it so popular? There are a lot of things Konosuba does right to make it funny. It routinely subverts our expectations to parody the fantasy and RPG genre pretty well, and I'm not really a big enough fan of the fantasy RPG setting to care about a lot of the parody aspects of it. The actual execution of most jokes are pretty top notch, the comedic timing is great, the animation perfectly accentuates any joke, but I'm not here to talk about any of that, as personally I don't think there's anything that ruins a joke faster than explaining it and breaking down its execution. No, what I'm here to do is break down the comedy in the show and its execution. Konosuba is one of the best examples I can think of in anime of a character driven comedy. These core four members of the asshole, the bitch, the weirdo and the meme is what makes this show so endearing. There's no one specific joke but it's their dynamic and chemistry that carries the comedy. You always feel like these weirdos were made for each other and it's for this reason that someone like me doesn't even have to find the jokes that funny to be continually entertained. And that, I feel, is the real strength of this show. Keep in mind that this is by no means the only way to write comedy. And while I appreciate well thought out character driven comedies, I can also find very trashy degenerate toilet humour hilarious too. Nervous erection reaches vagina!